Hey everyone, just a quick tutorial video on how to set up your microphone if it's not being picked up by OBS. If, you're, if your microphone is being picked up, you'll see this indicator bar here. So if it's not, you know, there won't be any sound here. The one thing you could do is you go over this gear. Well, first, what you want to do is go to settings, go to audio. Make sure your microphone is selected here and it's not disabled. Um, default's okay because it's, it's going to be whatever your default is in Windows. But I like to set the actual microphone. Then you go to this gear here, select filters, and you're going to want to add a gain. So you go plus, gain, and then I would step this up every five. You know, I just do five here. I got a separate USB mixer, so I don't really need much of a gain. And then you probably want to set up a noise gate. So then again, just go out, noise, noise gate. And these are actually off. I just did this tutorial, but the Windows didn't want to pick up the the file because I saved it in an MKV. So I usually have it as 3539. What you do when you're setting this up is you're just going to have it slide your open threshold. You can hear the hiss of all the background noise here. So you just slide it until that, you know, until that, uh, as you're watching this, that, because as you see, you can see the constant noise being indicated on the bar. So you just slide it until there's no more, it's not picking up any more sound. So with the way I stream, I like to have it so that it doesn't pick up any, like, key clicking noises. So I always go a little bit higher. Open threshold opens your microphone. And then the closed threshold closes your microphone. You know, pretty simple. You want your closed threshold to be just slightly less than your open threshold. If you have it too far down, then the background noise will keep the mic open. It won't close. And I never worry about these settings here. One thing you can also add is a noise suppression. I haven't really tinkered around with it too much. But let's say we had all of our background noise. And we were sliding this, or uh, so you can find where. So all my sound background noise stops there. Forty-eight, forty-seven. What we could do is. expression for that and then what you're going to do is record yourself I, in fact I don't even know what that sound that setting is doing to my mic right now but the record of just uh, recording in OBS go watch it see what it makes your mic, your mic sound like sometimes it'll make the mic sound really tinty or introduce artifact another place you can go to set your mic is just go on the mixer and go let us Now you notice the mic is considerably louder. But if you've ever seen my other videos about uh, off sync, you can you, you have sync offset here. You can either go less or high, high or low. And this is probably the main place you want to look out for when you have audio desync. If it's too fast, you you know you if your mic is before the video, you add a positive off sync. And if the video is before the audio, you might add a negative off sync. Auto monitoring, audio monitoring is going to make it sound like it's echoing in your earphones, so I never use it really. Anyway, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please post them down in the comments below. I'll try to help you out as best I can. I'm not exactly an expert in OBS. A good guy to check out on Beam, beam.pro, is Forkits, F O R K I T Z. He often does live. OBS help or even to streaming help uh, streams so you'll have to check with him to see when his next uh, tutorial stream is going to be anyways we'll talk to you later you take me down.